this is probably the heaviest one yet that we've done, so. We're a little worried. I hope that hose comes off. Stop. Never mind now. <laughs> There was a little wire that was still hooked, but it broke loose. Oh, I guess there's more wires than that one. So we got this off, and this is quite possibly the heaviest bed I've ever taken off with my skid steer, with my grade all. And uh, I'm I'm out boom just a, a little ways, not horrible, but uh, let me show you. And the best part about it is we're sitting on the ground right here. It's resting right there. That's how heavy this bed is. But it's got a couple actual rails in here. That job box is full of water. All, all the toolboxes are full of leftover uh, railroad equipment. So anyways, let's set it down. Now we got that bed off and I put a spacer between the bed and the frame to keep the two metals from rubbing against each other right well here's the problem they use pressure treated pine and you don't do that for several reasons but this would be the biggest reason right here because it just the weight just pushes right through pine you see there's nothing left of this thing not to mention look at all the moisture it holds Luckily the frame's still in good shape, but you can see what happens. It just literally push the bed pushes through this pine. That's why we always use uh, roughs on lumber, like oak, something like that. All right, all right. Let's get the taking the hydraulics off.